Okay guys, so we left off with um, what we had learned about technology. So this is the technology that was around in this section. And then here are the things that this technology was able to do. So kites and balloons, they were used to gather info. They were able to send tools into the sky. Um, aircrafts were able to reach five kilometers or more to again, get that information about the weather. Um, and then radio technology allowed for the transmission of data from the air to the ground. If we think about what these help do, learn more about weather. Okay. Now, in our last section, I'll move that. Out in space, looking back home. In the late 20th century, advances in aeronautics led to more powerful rockets that lifted satellites into orbit around Earth. From these heights, scientists could study the composition and relative thinness of our layered atmosphere. Since meteorologists could analyze multiple factors at once, the accuracy of their weather predictions improved dramatically. NASA launched dozens of satellites into orbit in the following years. Some stared back at Earth while others peered deep into endless space. They gathered astronomical data about the ages of planets and galaxies. Sensors and supercomputers measured things such as Earth's diameter with incredible accuracy. Because of this technology, scientists could develop more reliable models about Earth systems. For example, they could form theories to show how climate might change over time. Space missions continue to venture farther from home. Even so, nothing compares to seeing Earth the old way with our own eyes. Views of our planet from space inspire awe in nearly all people who have seen them, even in photographs. With all the arguments, for going to the moon, said astronaut, astronaut Joseph Allen. No one suggested that we should do it to look at the earth, but that may in fact be the most important reason. Okay, so in this section, we talk, learn about aeronautics. So, rockets sent satellites up into space. Sensors and supercomputers were used to gather data. Space missions were all have are still going. And so as a result of those things, scientists are able to develop more reliable models about Earth systems. Okay, so you're gonna be answering the make connections question, which is the effects of technology on our knowledge of Earth, okay? And so when you think about that, so what were some of the effects of flight on our knowledge about Earth? I really just want you to kind of think about what we've talked about. So I've given you some sentence starters. Technology has helped scientists buy. So you can talk about some of the technology and what it's helped them do. And then here's your second one, which will help you answer that question. Advances in 